That's horrific. I've never been sick on the job. And everything. Oh. Look what's in here! Oh, so sick. From dead body cleanups and hoarders. It's too serious. To potentially toxic levels of bacteria. This is about as bad as it gets. Oh, oh my God. Look at this. Wow. Britain's extreme cleaners are on call 24 hours a day. We are the fourth emergency service here. I have cleaned this place to an inch of its life. Transforming homes. Wow. And lives. Look at this. <laughs> Fantastic. It's more than just cleaning, it's caring. I can't believe it. My face in human nature has gone up there. When people are in need, we are their saviors. It's time for Britain to call the cleaners. As the number of people aged over 65 has risen to nearly 12 million, more and more elderly people are struggling to care for themselves and their homes. For them, specialist cleaners are a lifeline. They're too old for this. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Sisters Yvonne and Angela have carried out nearly 6,000 jobs between them, specialising in deep cleaning extreme filth. The best cleaning job, the best satisfaction, the dirtiest, the better. Yeah, the dirtier, the better. We love it. Because we, we know love it. we've been there. Today, they're heading to London to help a 76-year-old lady who is struggling to cope in her one-bed flat. What awaits us today? <laughs> the elderly resident has lived alone in the flat for the last nine years. Oh, my goodness. She's moved out for a few days while the clean takes place. Do you know what I could smell the most? Mold. The no, the dog. Dog smell. No, I can smell mold. We have the bathroom. Does that toilet actually work, I wonder? The leaking toilet has spread water throughout the flat. It seriously is dark. Is that going to make things look worse? We've got no light. OK. <laughs> There's mouldy food underneath there. The stuff. amount of stuff that's in here and the amount of, of filthy, mouldy debris it's on the floor. Be... 19 years we've been doing this and... I think this is actually this the worst. This is the worst. It's already an enormous job and there's still the bedroom to investigate. Oh! 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 Oh, my God. Oh, the smell. That has got cat droppings all in it with mould on. What the hell is this on the floor? Everything is mould ridden. It's just mouldy. There is a bed under here. Oh, my God. <clears throat> and spiders. There's creatures crawling everywhere. What is this? It's all damp and mould. Where... This is obviously her bedroom at one this time, the but there's absolutely no way anybody time. could have slept in here. You'd be ill. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it, this ever. Have I seen anything like this? The sisters decide to call the elderly lady to find out just how things got so bad. Hi, sweetheart. I'm Yvonne. I'm one of the ladies who's in your home at the moment, trying to get things sorted for you, darling. We've just managed to open the door to the bedroom, sweetheart. Oh, you lost your husband, sweetheart, did you? And then since then, you've not been going in that room at all. You didn't want to be in there without him and sleep in there. You want to get back to your home as soon as possible. OK, darling. You take care. Bye, bye. Oh, that's so sad. It's horrible, isn't it? It's horrible. It's not right, is it? Oh, God. She just wants to come out and bless her. I said, how do you keep warm? She said, I just sit on my settee with the blankets and my dog keeps me warm. I feel absolutely heartbroken. I feel guilty getting in my bed tonight, knowing that he's going to come back to this. Well, she won't come back to this. We'll have to make sure of that, won't we? It's estimated that up to 5% of the population suffers from a hoarding disorder. 
leading to dirty and dangerously cluttered homes. When the problem gets too much, it's time to call in the extreme cleaners. Step in Maxine and 22-year-old daughter Jasmine. Oh. You could have picked up the food. <laughs> no, no food. We have to get on to the job, Jasmine. Before setting up her business 12 years ago, if you start unloading, Maxine worked at a law centre and as a nursing assistant. I like to care and look after people who are vulnerable. Bottom line. Today, they're in Brixton, South London, to meet a hoarder who desperately needs help. Hello, oh, my God. goodness. Hello. Hello. How, are How are you? I'm, I'm good, thank you. We're here to lend a hand. You need more than one hand, <laughs> OK? You need two hands. <laughs> um, it's not a problem. Anybody come with you? Brace yourself. Dirk has lived in his one-bedroom flat for 30 years. I can't even say I live here. Oh, OK. Mm. Despite holding down a full-time job coordinating minicabs, life at home is somewhat less well organised. I'm able to function, able to go to work and come home. That's good. Keep myself clean and presentable outside. Yeah. But my domestic situation is like... Um, the worst has been for a long time, I would say. We can sort it out for you. Shall we move to the next room? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, OK. Before she can start, Maxie needs to find out what exactly Dirk is willing to ditch. I would like to keep as many books as possible. I absolutely adore books. All your books we keep. If you can, anything. if you can. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there are things on the stairs which are a hazard. Okay. They're a hazard to me every day. The downstairs bathroom and basement is overrun with bags of clothes and boxes of newspapers, with a few unpleasant surprises. I think a cat has been in here. To me, it smells like <laughs> a dead rodent. In the bedroom, Dirk's makeshift bed is buried under even more bags of clothes and magazines. You're on my bed. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry! That's all right, my dear. It's where I've been sleeping. It's just the way it is, Maxine. How long have you been sleeping on the floor like that? Um, probably all of last year. Just need to do something about it and... Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I can see it's upsetting you a bit. It is upsetting me, actually. Um, what would it mean for you to have a, a double bed? Possibilities. I think I'll leave it at possibilities. Okay, okay. <laughs> Are you married? I am a single gay man. Oh, well, there you go. So you can have a partner. That's a possibility. Yes, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Dirk's problems started when, age 19, he moved to Britain and came out as gay. Society was bringing all these pressures on me to be something who I wasn't. I think what happened was I had more respect for society than I had for myself. I've withdrawn myself from the community. Like a hermit. I'm getting on now, I'm heading for 58, and um, it's ridiculous to be living like this, ridiculous. You can't live like this, nobody should live like this. It needs to change. It needs to change. Hoarding is a mental health issue. Oh, yeah, of course. It is, it is yeah. a mental health issue yeah. because mm -hmm. there's no other reason why you would keep all that stuff. Elderly people is tinned food. Yeah. It's like, because I think because they were in the war, yeah. and rashions, they just hoard yeah. tins. tins of food. And... We've done a lot of hoarding, but we've never had a nasty hoarder. No. They've always been polite, pleasant. They've offered us a cup of tea, but we've declined. But no, we've never had a nasty. No. They've just generally got a problem. With landlords spending £4.5 billion a year cleaning and repairing their properties, it is a boom area for the extreme cleaners. Like Sean and his team. The lovely neck of the woods this is. Yeah. You've got to have a laugh, because if you don't have a laugh, it becomes too serious. So you've got to be quite light-hearted, uh, a bit of comedy and a bit of banter. Yeah. It goes a long way, doesn't it? It certainly does go a long way. 
Today, they're on their way to a one-bed flat where the landlord desperately needs their help. <coughs> I mean, I would say probably 90% of this is food packaging and rotten and rotten food. That is packed solid. The tenant lived here for several years and moved out a month ago. I found the kitchen bin. Normally people would like empty it when it gets to the top, but just kept on going. Just full of all cool rubbish, rotten food. Got a bit of a job on our hands. Starting with the lounge, the team have just one day to clear out the entire flat. It doesn't, doesn't smell very nice at the moment. Obviously, when we start stirring it around, it's going to get a bit worse. That smell, though, doesn't seem to have put the neighbours off from visiting. Oh, my God! That is horrendous! I have never seen anything like this in my life. Occasionally, I get a whiff of what smells like rotten cabbage. I put it down to the sewers or something like that, you know. I, I had no idea it was anywhere near as bad as that. <laughs> ah, excuse me. These bottles are full up with something, and I don't think that's cider. There was uh, feces in the hallway. Sounds a bit of affairs, really. As urine breaks down, it gives off ammonia. The older it is, the worse it smells. It just stinks of urine, feces and rotten food. Claire, sharing her taste for life with Benna Cole and documentaries. Discover Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover, even for waterproof makeup. Simply shake and wipe, leaving no traces. I'm Laura Murphy, professional makeup artist. Backstage, I need to change looks quickly with a cleanser that I can trust. That's why Nivea gets my vote. Time we met, you had your top off straight away. It was mutual. It was going so well. It was until. Well, until you bottled it. Recycling gave us a second chance. I'd say recycling gave you many chances. But no matter how much we changed, our love remained the same. After enjoying our drinks, please recycle. <laughs> hey, rat face, you're in my seat. Pardon? Are you deaf? Help! Manners. Maketh. Mirka. See Kingsman the Golden Circle with Mirka movies. Only when you buy, so compare the market.com. At the junction, turn right. At the crossroads, turn right. At the forest, turn right. At the mountain pass, turn right. At the sand dunes, turn right. At the river, go straight through. Then turn right. At the dormant volcano, turn right. I suppose you want the left turns now. and Linda, sharing their taste for life with Benna Cole and documentaries. Up and down the country, extreme cleaners are helping out those most in need. In Brixton, South London, mother and daughter cleaning team Maxine and Jasmine oh, are just getting started clearing out Dirk's flat. Jasmine, it's fine. Look. Huh? It's fine. They've already removed 30 bags of rubbish but the flat's still full to breaking point with a lifetime's worth of clutter and over 2,000 books and magazines. 1984. It's hard to know what to bin and what not to bin because he's got lots and lots and lots of stuff. Hello, Max. How are you? Hello, I'm good, thank you. How is it going? We're, we're doing really good, apart from 
the containers, the green containers with some stuff from 1982, 1987. There's no way to store them, Doug. I can't tell you to throw them away. No, I thought not. I'm not been in anything that the client doesn't want us to be in. We have to find a solution. In North London, sisters Yvonne and Angela are tackling their biggest job yet. <laughs> oh, my God! They're starting with the bedroom, abandoned nine years ago when the elderly resident's husband died. Well, her husband's clothes still. All his suits and everything. Oh, my goodness. Stamp collections. We need to keep them. Oh, gosh, yeah. Like, honestly, this is unbelievable. It's like soil. It's just everything disintegrated. Right, let's get the bed full of sludge out, shall we? Oh. Anyone for coffee? Ugh. We are going to do this job if it literally kills us. It may yet. <laughs> OK. Ready. With the bedroom cleared, they can turn their attention to the lounge. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that stinks. Oh. oh, that is grim. That is food debris. This is where the lady sleeps, on this rotten, soaking chair with these damp rugs. This is what you find in a landfill site. Oh, yeah. I think there's been a leak, my goodness. In the bathroom, water from the broken loo has mixed with dirt and dog poo. Look how much water we're in. I think this has got to have been leaking for years. Flushing toilet. The loo has now been fixed and cleaned. Getting excited over a new toilet. <laughs> it's fab though, isn't it? Four days ago, the flat was the worst place Yvonne and Angela had ever seen. None of this mud is from outside. All of this mud is what has been traipsed from the rubbish heap that was in the living room. After 40 hours of hard graft, litres of disinfectant and four skips of rubbish. November 2001. One, two, go! The flat is now clean and tidy. She'd like to do some cooking now in a nice new kitchen. There we go. Doesn't smell. No, the smell does Can't smell anything, gone, doesn't it? And with a new bed, the elderly resident can now move back into the bedroom for the first time in nine years. I think I'd actually get in that bed I tonight. Would, yeah. would you? I would. <laughs> well, I think we deserve a high five. I certainly won't forget that job in a hurry. No. I will never forget that job. No. We've done it. <laughs> <laughs> we have done it. This <laughs> <Sisters> rock. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get down the pub. I need wine. <laughs> Yep, you! <laughs> if I didn't enjoy the job or love the job, I wouldn't do it. What's I don't it? think you could. You couldn't force yourself to go out and clean up some of the stuff we clean up. No, if you didn't love it. No. For as long as I can remember, even when we were kids, we would always have a tidy playroom when we were little. We'd always put our toys away before we left the playroom. I love cleaning. Yeah. I get such a sense of satisfaction yeah, out of I making know. something clean. I'm absolutely excited about my job every day of the week. Every day of the week. I have trouble switching off. I get <laughs> excited when I'm buying a new Hoover. That's how good and how much I love my job. In Somerset, Sean and his team have a few hours left to finish their one-day job. Why did you do that? Why? Yo, Katie he always does that. Never open the fridge. <laughs> and four years' worth of accumulated rubbish is literally going out of the window. It's taken nine hours and five cleaners to clear the flat. Well, considering the rubbish is out there. Uh, out there. And now it's completely empty and clear. Job satisfaction, that is. Sean can now hand it back to the landlord for a long overdue renovation. Right. 
Sean and his team might be able to put their feet up, but in Brixton, South London, there's still a lot to do on the third and final day of Maxine and Jasmine's clean. Ooh. Sorry. How to win at house cleaning. Last thing to read at night. <laughs> Dirk has been sleeping on the floor for two years, and Maxine hopes this will be a fresh start. They've removed over 10 vanfuls of rubbish, and the flat is finally clear. I can't wait to see his reaction for this big transformation. Three days ago, every surface in Dirk's flat was covered with clutter. Now he's back to see the fruits of Maxine and Jasmine's labor. I'm feeling vulnerable. I can't even begin to picture what it will be like. Hello. I <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Maxine, I'm very grateful for this space. You know, I'm very sociable, and I would actually like people to come in here and utilize this space. For the last two years, Dirk has had to sleep on a makeshift bed. Oh, my days. Now he has a proper bed, opening up new possibilities. Oh, my days. Are you going to keep it like this? I think it will be kept because I will have a more open home. At this stage in my life, I want to have more relationships with people than with things. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let me take it in. Wow. You have a floor. <sighs> I didn't know this room was so big. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. You've made me feel welcome in my own house. Yeah, yeah. We're tired, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy we've made someone happy and changed his, his life. I think Maxine and Jasmine are like surgeons because they have removed a cancer that was causing me a lot of grief. I have some scar tissue left, but it will be dealt with. They've given me a new lease on life. Next time, Maxine has a surprise in store for Jasmine. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, look at them now, Angela. And Yvonne and Angela face a job that makes their skin crawl. Look at the creatures. Let me out. Brian and Linda, sharing their taste for life with Benicol and documentaries.